Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Ultimate Tots Friday. Ultimate Tots is here. The last week of Team of the Season. It's almost over. It has been a great run, but hopefully we end today with a banger of a day. We have a great team that is leaked to be in packs. We have some very interesting content leaked and also maybe unsure of what's going to come today via SBCs and objectives based off of that content that's leaked. We'll talk about some potential end of an era stuff that might drop today. And of course, really, really big piece of hype today is the tot swaps number two. The rewards are going to be put out in the SBC section today. You're going to be able to start redeeming your tokens for those rewards. Or if you're still saving, there's going to be more tokens released that you'll be able to collect still. So all of those things and just in general, it's Ultimate Tots Friday, right? This is some people have been saving packs for the entirety of team of the season. And up to this point, they haven't been opening very many packs. And now they're here. They're going to open 84 times 25s, you know, swaps packs from icon swaps, tot swaps, milestone rewards packs that were put out yesterday. There are a lot of packs that are going to be open today. And I think EA might even add to that with a token pack in the store. We'll talk about that as well in today's video. So it's a big hype day. If you're excited, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at this squad that we are getting in packs today. We looked at it in yesterday's video. This is the Ultimate Tots squad that will be in packs. 23 players, a lot of big names in here. Again, we talked about it. This is an incredible team of players that's going to be in packs today. There's really only like a couple L's, if you will, right? Trent is not even bad, and that's going to be like the second worst card in the team. And then Mike Magnan, probably going to get tired of packing him by the end of this week. A lot of people are going to see him in their packs, I would imagine, as his pack width is going to be pretty high. But... As we mentioned, so many people opening packs today, right? And it's still going to be very difficult to pack the high tier cards like Vinicius Jr., like Mbappe, like Salah, like Jude Bellingham. It's not going to be super easy to pack those cards today. But since there's still a lot of people opening packs, I do think that for all of these cards on the market, you're going to see their prices dropping starting this morning on Friday because I'll, even some of these cards, I think of Akula Bali, after the Serie A Team of the Season Guaranteed Pack came out yesterday, Kula Bali actually went up in price. He was 500k. He went from 500 all the way to like 550. And he is going to be in packs again today. That was actually shocking. I would sell that card if you still have it because a lot of these cards are going to drop further this weekend just because they're in packs and right supply on this game especially with how the pack weight is this year in fifa all the lightning rounds that ea are going to run today and if they do release a token pack that's going to be a lot of supply for the middle to lower tier cards on this ultimate team of the season team now i do think that with panic selling and packs being open today putting coins on the market some of these cards could get really low and then bounce back so if you're wanting to buy a benzema salad de bruyne vinicius jr ronaldo any of those really really expensive cards elite top tier players watch for panic selling and first hour supply then a little bit of a potential of a bounce back but really how much these cards drop today is dependent upon the tot swap token pack and like we saw during if you guys remember la liga team of the season they dropped a pack in the store called the la liga tots essentials pack and it gave you and as they have been doing and as they have said with tot swaps two just like tot swaps one there is going to be a pack that gives out a token in the store now we have not seen pack code added yet that would describe what this pack is going to be. Last time it was called the La Liga Essentials Pack. I don't know what they would call it this time around. It's not in the code yet, but it would make sense for them since they're releasing the rewards today for Tot Swaps 2 that we would see that pack in the store today as well. So just keep an eye out for that. We're not sure if that's going to drop yet. And if that does drop, um, with the swaps rewards today, you are going to see a lot of extra supply on the market for all of the team of the season cards that are in packs, specifically including, you know, some of the lower tier cards. Like I think Kula Bali is going to get packed a lot today. I really do. I think Kula Bali could literally drop 100,000 coins. I know that he's still pretty difficult to pack and then a lot of people in this last week of Serie A Tots didn't pack him. I think he has a lot of room to drop. I think basically every single card that is that is coming back into packs for Ultimate Team this season today has potential to drop. 
But like I said, also some potential to rebound as well because a lot of coins are going to be, you know, put into people's accounts today as they open packs. They quick sell cards, they sell cards. That means more coins are coming onto the market. Anytime on a Friday when people are opening lightning rounds and opening packs, especially with FIFA points, that brings coins to the market. And that means people have more coins to go out and buy cards for their team and stuff like that. So these cards are all gonna be dropping today. Some of them will rebound. Some of them are just gonna get absolutely pummeled in price. It's gonna be a crazy day on the market in that aspect. And seriously watch for that token pack because again, that's probably like the biggest piece of content today other than the team and packs is the swaps team, right? I know a lot of you guys are like, Nate, I only have you know maybe 10, 15 tokens right now. I believe at the moment we have had 17 tokens released or 18 tokens. Um, we have seven tokens to go yeah 18 tokens have been released i would imagine that we would at least get one or two of them today um and then you, we have until next friday to get all the rest of our tokens and to claim the rewards that we want so if you're like nate i only have 17 tokens right now why is there how am i going to claim my 22 token player pick for the one of five league on or one of five premier league you can't actually get that yet just keep collecting your tokens and then going after those the rewards will be out today but you might not be able to actually you can only get up to 16 i think baggio unless they drop two tokens then you'd be able to get the la liga one of five option but i think a lot of people including myself are going to be looking forward to the league one one of three player pick which i'm going to go ahead and do or the 84 times 25 just know that these are coming out today and that's probably the second biggest piece of hype content related to the game today. Now let's talk about SBCs and objectives because there are some leaks. And as you guys may have seen, some leaks regarding end of an era cards, it seems a bit crazy because every single week in the past five weeks, we have had a flashback item as our Friday SBC player. At the moment, we do not have any flashback leaks. We do not have any team of the season SBC leaks. All we have are three end of an era cards. The first one being this Insigne, right? These are predicted stats. These are not official, but this Insigne card, this might be our SBC today. It really could be our SBC player that we get today on Friday. That would be a card a lot of people would love, especially coming off of the heels of Syria Tots, where people, you know, maybe have a Hernandez or a Tonali or, you know, a Berardi or an Immobile, just some of those Italian links running Serie A squads at the moment. This card would be seen as a perfect left wing option for so many people. Five foot four, incredible dribbling. If they would give him five star skills or a five star weak foot or both, this would be an absolutely insane card. Very meta, ratty, if you will, for, for some people's terms in game, a meta rat, just because of how quick his dribbling would be. You could turn circles like crazy. And especially if they gave him five star skills, that would be a nuts card. Now, for an objective today, we only have one leaked card as of right now, and that is Fabregas, another end of an era item. This is the second of three end of an eras that we have leaked right now. Could we be getting this today as well as our objective? We don't know, right? The Foot Sheriff, the guy who's leaking all of these cards, did make a hint that he thinks this might seem uh, like some sort of its own, you know, end of an era promo. We've seen leaks for end of an eras before. You remember Aguero? You remember the Dembele that used to play for Spurs, the Belgium Dembele? He had a leaked card. We never saw it, right? We haven't had one since Akin Fenua, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm forgetting one. Um, you know, we haven't seen an end of an era card in, in a hot minute. And maybe this is, you know, it's going to be a part of Ultimate Tots. Maybe this is a separate promo in total. But if these cards are not going to drop today, I would say you would see more leaks. Because if we don't have a flashback leaked, you know, heading into content today, or if we don't have anything else, then I would say that this is going to be our content today. Fabregas, Objective, and an SBC for Insigne. Now, there's one more card that's been leaked as well as an end of an era, and that is Angel Di Maria. Look at that card. PSG links. Again, it's, you know, everybody, the, the right wing PSG. I've got Messi in my team. This Di Maria would be a nice card to try out as well. Very meta card. Five star skills. If he gets a weak foot upgrade, could be really, really good. An end of an era for all these cards, just a little bit emotional, right? That's why we, I, I love end of an era. It's just like flashbacks are dope, but end of an era is just take it to a whole new level because there's always more like emotion behind it because a lot of these guys are either retiring or moving on from clubs that they've been at for a really, really long time. So there's a lot of potential hype with these. Of course, if it's an SBC or an objective, it all comes down to how much it costs or how many games you have to play to get it done. But other than those guys, 
we really don't have any leaks for what our SBC content would be today. I would also imagine that they would do, you know, some of the stuff like they've done in the last week with Serie A. They have, you know, these TOTS challenges. I would imagine that we're going to have, you know, more of these TOTS challenges today. I would also imagine that we would have some sort of flash SBC. So I think that would be something that you can anticipate seeing on the game today um, as a part of the Friday promo content. But yeah, like I mentioned, with the SBCs and objective players, really do not know what's going to happen with those. Now, as you see here on the little infographic, you see the rest of the world and the MLS TOTS players, they're still going to be in packs today. So if you have a guy like Mukhtar um, or, you know, Tavernier even, I would say, be pretty careful with those guys because their prices are going to take a hit uh, today as well as they're going to be in packs and all this supply that's been happening, um, you know, they're going to take a, a big hit today for them all the packs that are going to be open as well so if there's any of these that you maybe have if it's oscar but specifically tavernier i know a lot of people really want this tavernier tots card i think that he's going to take a big uh, hit in price today still a really really good item probably going to have some more rebounding through the weekend i believe that the rest of the world tots like tavernier will be going out of packs tomorrow on saturday and then your mls tots cards will be going out of packs on sunday when Either tomorrow on Saturday or on Sunday. I don't know which day it is, but we have a new card design that's been added. Conmebol Libertadores Team of the Group Stage. And this is basically like the TOTS for Conmebol Libertadores. Uh, the, that is actually the competition is still ongoing. That's why it's Team of the Group Stage. But you remember last year we had the flashback Tevez. We had the Chancalay left mid card. We had the bow striker card. That's what those were from last year. We're getting them this year as well. This will be like a secondary TOTS team released on the weekend, most likely, unless it's today. Uh, and if, it, if it's today as well, then they're going to be adding some pretty nice cards uh, into the pack realm. There's going to be so many cards and packs if they do that. So that's kind of that situation right there now as i mentioned with the tot swap tokens there are seven tokens left so if you're going to be exchanging stuff today make sure you take a look and see where they drop that i think they are going to drop the token pack the pack is just not in the actual game it's not been uploaded yet so just be kind of thinking about that and be ready to see that now let's talk a little bit more market as well i want to talk about sbc fodder i know a lot of you guys we were hoping for fodder to rise this last week but with the whole glitches in the store and how everything went down with all those unlimited packs that were out and then ea delaying the syria sbc a lot of sbc fodder and your cards that we put in for sbcs if you don't know what fodder means it's basically meaning cards that are only good for sbcs uh, they're, they didn't really go up that much this week, and it was kind of an L, and these cards are now dirt cheap once again. 84s are 2.5K, 86 is 8,000 coins. Like I mentioned, with all the supply coming today, these cards are probably all going to drop a little bit lower. You know, you've got uh, 90 rated cards that are still up a little bit. Conte is 30,000 coins. He was like 25K last week on the weekend. All of these cards are most likely going to be dropping more with the pack supply, and especially, I don't know how EA is going to run the late night lightning rounds. Probably like the 84 plus packs, the 85 plus packs for lightning rounds. Uh, they'll be putting out those. But, you know, I would I would just, uh, again, like the normal fluctuation and the normal trend is for fodder on the weekend, fodder gets really low. So I would be expecting to see these cards prices dropping even more with all the packs that are open today. Now, of course, if we do get an Insigne a really dope SBC, or if they put out some other type of SBC that would be like a gamble type pack. Usually we don't see those on Fridays, but if they were to do something like that, there's a couple packs in the code that I think we'll see later on this week. Uh, but if they were to drop those today, that would be the only crazy situation where I think you would see some of this fodder rebound. So watch for prices here dropping and getting very investable again later on tonight tomorrow into saturday and sunday it's going to be a great time to look into sbc fodder once again after it drops off some more today and tonight friday into saturday so definitely watch out for that and for the rest of the market you might be like nate i have a card in my team or i want to buy a card today from uh, or, or of a player that's not in the ultimate tots team like let's say you're like nate i want to buy noon menge he's 179,000 coins i think with just how crazy of a day it's going to be today on friday i do think that you will see a, a few prices dropping even on cards that aren't in ultimate team of the season just because people are going to open packs today if they put out a swaps token pack in the store you know it's just going to cause a lot of chaos on the market and a lot of cards are going to be moving so i do think that you will see some prices that'll be moving around the rest of the team of the season market 
team of the years, just out of packs cards in general that you could be trading with today and you could be watching and saying, hey, you know, I know that Mane is not in the ultimate tot, so he's not getting packed today. But if he gets panic sold a couple hundred thousand coins, could he bounce back? I think there will be opportunities to buy today if you're trying to get a card for a cheap price for your team this weekend, for weekend league or whatever it may be, or if you're just trying to make coins, definitely watch panic selling today because I think there will be plenty of it. But again, watch for a rebound as well because again, people are opening packs today and that means there are going to be coins that will be put onto the market. And same thing as always, you know, we have weekend league and we weekend league is going to start um, at its normal time. It's going to be two or three hours. I think it's three hours, three hours after the content drop today on Friday, people are still going to go out and play. I know that we're upset with the rewards. We were upset about the champions foot champs rewards for team of the season when they first came out and were, um, released and talked about like at the beginning of tots and people still went on to play weekend league. And we still went on to, you know, really, sweat out the weekend league and try to get the best rewards possible or stop at rank five and try to get two good reds. But people are still going to play weekend league this weekend, like myself included. Some people might say, you know, I'm not going to play. It's not worth it. But in reality, one of three 91 plus e-fix tots in your red picks, that's still a, kind of a cool pick. It depends on how the, the weight's going to be. There's still, you know, you could still pack a Neymar. You could still pack an Mbappe even from this, even though it's not guaranteed ultimate tots players in rewards i still think a lot of people are going to be going out and playing today it's just going to be a day on fifa where a lot of people log on rip some packs if they have them saved i've i've got player picks that i'm working on saving right now we're only at 20 at the moment we gotta we gotta do a lot more but a lot of people are doing player picks as well and since there's a lot of demand for that and as you see today on um on friday i would imagine that a lot of these rare gold cards uh, are going to actually go up even higher. Rares and non-rares both, I would imagine, will go up today on Friday heading into the content drop as people will be stacking and creating and crafting and building some last second 82 plus player picks, which I hope to have 100 of today uh, for the stream. That'll be an absolute blast to try to open some of those up and to try to pack some big boy blues, right? It's just, it's just a full send for Ultimate Tots. That's all that it is. Now, really quickly from yesterday's content, we had the guaranteed SBC. It was pretty cheap. Wasn't anything crazy. And as you would expect, the pack was pretty bad. I packed Milankovic Savage. Uh, Serie A 84 plus player pick. I packed Mike Don, I do believe. Uh, we had the Osman SBC, which is fine. Nothing super dope or super crazy here. If you needed a Serie A striker, um, you're going to have a good one here with Osman. They, they did really give him a nice upgrade with his uh, pace boost because his acceleration was really low on his other cards. They gave him a nice acceleration boost there. Four-star skill move upgrade. So nothing to complain about there. But also one thing to watch out for today is if they drop an Insigne card, uh, just keep an eye on the, some of your other Italian cards on the market or some of your other Serie A cards. I think of one off the top of my head would be Tonali, right? Tonali is not in the ultimate team of the season. He was 300,000 coins yesterday. I actually went out and I picked up a bunch of these guys at 300K because if Insigne comes out today, I think that he could go higher. And also with Kessie expiring, this is like, this is the CDM for, for Italian Serie A links. His card just looks unbelievable. Teo Hernandez, Rafael Leao, uh, and Koulibaly are all in ultimate team of the season. So that bodes well for a card like this. You know, that's why I'm saying to keep an eye on the out of packs market today as well, because uh, some of these cards that are not in ultimate team of the season, if they get panic sold, I think there's going to be great opportunities to trade with them and their prices to go higher as people open those packs, get coins and go and buy some teams today on this game. So it's going to be an absolutely crazy Friday because it's ultimate tots, tot swaps are out and it's, it's the final Friday of team of the season, guys. It is, we have made it this far. It is June. Welcome to June. Uh, and welcome to summer on FIFA. Basically after today and after this week, we really enter like summer on FIFA time. So have fun today for ripping packs. Good luck. If you get anything, of course, tw Twitter link is down below in the description. Make sure you tweet me all your insane pack polls. I can't wait to see pack polls, uh, that people tweet me today of, of themselves packing insane cards from ultimate team of the season. And hopefully we can add another really insane card to our tots counter as well. 135. We have made it to this far. You know, if we can add it, if we can take that to like 140, I mean, that'd be insane from 100 player picks. We would love that. Hopefully pack in a couple ultimate tots cards along the way. So 
that's it for me on this video. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Bill to Count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.